Hello innovators, do you know how to use stable widget in Flutter? Let's find out. You are watching Pro Coach and I am Vivek Yadav. Question of the day, what is stable? A table is structured for organizing and displaying information with data arranged in columns and rows. Table makes it easy to compare related, compare pairs of related values. Question number two, when to use stable widget? We should use table widget when we want to have multiple rows with same width of column and there are equal data for each column. Some people say go words are cheap, show me go. So here it is. We are going to build this application in this video. Hmm. Uh, guys today I am doing small experiment so where I am not going to you know write live code but I will explain you what I did to make this screen yeah so imported flood uh, material uh, package okay in void main uh, I'm passing my app like my app to run app so, so it will show some screens my app uh, is having material app in its build method and in uh, material app I'm passing table example to its home my table example is stateful widget okay which obviously have a uh, state and build method okay uh, to complete this code i have some helpers with me so one is check icon another is cancel icon and the last one is color box all these three are widgets so let me show what is all these are so check icon is uh, this part where there is icon with check uh, you know if this check one and color is green plus it is having uh, padding in you know, bottom section and top it you can look at it right uh, the similar is cancel icon so it is a cancel icon with color of red and having padding in bottom edit section and at the top it okay and the last but not the least and very important helper is colored box so what it help me to get a box you can see a box this is a cell or you can say box which in which is having a colored border okay so that i name it as a colored box so it takes the child which is any of this widget and there's an optional parameter top and bottom so whenever top is whenever top is true i am doing the top part as a color and whenever bottom is true and you know doing bottom border as color otherwise it will be a transparent so look at it in color box i am returning a container and the containers decoration is having box and box decoration in box decorations border part i am having a border which is uh, having top bottom left right okay so look at this on top uh, so in the top uh, whenever the top is true okay so whenever the top is true i am passing colors blue dot shade 900 and 900 or it is transparent and with this two with this two for all these things okay so in bottom whenever bottom is true i am passing colors dot blue shade 900 and otherwise it will be transparent with this two left and right are uh, you know all the will, will be always there and uh, its color is colors dot blue dot shade 900 with width 2 and in containers child i am passing the child which is i am getting you know in color box as parameter okay so let's look at the build method in build method i am returning scaffold and scaffold is having app bar and this and this app bar i'm showing the title as table example as you can see and background as colors dot purple dot shade and very simple in body of scaffold i'm taking a i'm taking a padding with uh, inserts everywhere uh, inserts all means uh, you know top bottom left right and eight padding you, you can see some padding over here over here so that is eight padding from this widget and the direct Child, child of padding is stable and which we are going to see in this video. 
axis okay okay so see so the default vertical alignment <coughs> so if we are not passing any alignment to uh, to the cells of table then it will be a middle one okay always okay now see border so that uh, we can provide the borders to table but right now i am pro i have provided inside border so you can see vertical inside and horizontal inside so uh, this is vertical inside and this is horizontal inside we can pass top bottom right left also okay uh, i didn't need it right now so i didn't pass it and uh, this is simple uh, border side uh, which takes color and which takes a width okay you can pass some style also right column width yes this is very very much important and it is it is very helpful okay so uh, if you look okay, uh, look at this uh, just look at this carefully so uh, there is uh, you know a gap or we can you can say separation of or we you can say the first uh, first column is having much more space as compared to second third and fourth column also second third and fourth column are you know, similar to each other okay so basically i have divided it by spaces and it was very easy with column widths so uh, the first or the zero or we can say uh, in a whole number zero so the first will have a 40 percent of space you can see 0 0.4 so it is 40 percent space and second third fourth uh, i mean first second third part of this row that is second third four second third and fourth column will have 20 20 20 percent and the whole is 100 percent so that is what i did with this thing so uh, if you go and play around with these things you know it will change uh, you yeah, know one so it is it's changed so it's good to have four and that is 40 percent you know so we, it, is, it was very handy for us okay now let's look at this table okay so you know important thing uh focus here so in children of table there will always uh, so it will always have a list of table row it is generic guys so we have to pass table row in children we can't pass anything else okay let me show you an example if i pass a container it will show me error what error the element type container can't uh, be assigned to the list type of table row it will always take table row okay and what we did in this example you know uh, we uh, the first table row we used it as a title whereas second third fourth fifth we used it as a values okay you can see the first uh, the first child uh, of this first row is empty that is what i have did with sized box so i use sized box whenever i have to show an empty thing you mean nothing right so i use sized box with uh, no additional thing. then i have a column okay look at this i have a column with icon home and text home but you can see some spaces uh, uh, on the top and bottom so all these things are by this size box height 16 and size box height 16 on top and bottom similarly for favorites and similarly for last one saved but but you can see for last one so this is home okay then this is favorite you can see the star and favorite okay and then there is you know as you can see something like color box yeah so color box is our one helper which takes widget and which gives us you know border okay so let's look at this how i have used it too. so color box is having the column and column will have some uh, space uh, in top and bottom and then it is having icon of save and text saved right also i have passed look at this top as a true to color box so left right will always be color but top is also colored in this case because top, i have set top to the true okay simple now in the next row in next table row i have passed text as a vivek okay and then cancel icon then check icon then color box with check icon then color box with check icon simple 
so table row will take any type of widget table will take only table row but table row will take any widget i can pass anything okay similarly mat kizer and joy i am passing all these things okay now uh, so whenever you want an empty row or anything so you can do these things okay a table row with size box table row with size box but keep one thing in mind okay let me show you this error okay there is an error but table contains uh, look at this table contains irregular row length okay so what does it mean let me remove this what does it mean the table rows the table rows will have equal amount of children in it so you can see one two three four so four children in your one you know, row so you can't have three or five you always have to have equal amount of children in your row okay otherwise you will get an error there is a there is a table cell thing which can be handy if uh, you know sometimes it can be handy handy it takes uh, some child and also it uh, uh, it helps you to uh, you know uh, modify its, its alignment for example uh, or if you don't want the default alignment which we set uh, on the top then you can use this table cell and uh, you know uh, define uh, your own al 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 alignment there okay so yeah that's it uh, you saw the code we have you know written there it's simple and let me know uh, if this experiment was successful or not i mean uh, explaining the code rather than writing it uh, in the live video okay yeah uh, that's yeah, you can find the code on github uh, github.com slash vivek y two finance two finance slash flutter underscore table underscore example you can connect with me on twitter uh, my twitter id is vivek y two finance two finance you can find me on linkedin you can find me on instagram medium and github as vivek y two finance two finance and our youtube channel name is throw coach okay uh, do subscribe and like share comment uh, if you have any more question or if you want something uh, for i mean any uh, topics which, which i should cover on this channel